Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Donnelly. The Spirits Educator is a digital education platform and trade resource for the distilled spirits industry. My aim is to provide in-depth spirits information, brand transparency, and category education for distributor sales teams, service industry and hospitality members, and motivated enthusiasts. I currently work for a major wine and spirits distributor, but my work here on the Spirits Educator is completely unaffiliated with my current employer. Today I'm going to be talking about Rabbit Hole, a brand that is a modern interpretation of Kentucky bourbon with an emphasis on style, transparency, and innovation. I'm going to be referencing a script that I wrote so I can communicate all this information correctly. If you would like to read my write-up on Rabbit Hole, I'll include a link below in the description. If you would like to be notified whenever I have new content published on my website or this YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to my newsletter. I'll have a link below in the description. Rabbit Hole was founded by Kaveh Zeminen, an Iranian-born PhD psychologist with zero experience in whiskey making or the spirits industry. After growing up in Southern California, Kaveh moved to Chicago, where he met his wife Heather, a Louisville native passionate about bourbon. Heather is credited with converting Kaveh from his love of scotch to bourbon, the native spirit of her hometown. Kaveh saw a need for more transparency and authenticity in the bourbon industry, since historically a handful of distilleries had churned out dozens of brands with no clear differences between the brands and labels. He obsessively learned as much as he could about making bourbon, and eventually told his wife that he wanted to give up an 18-year career as a psychiatrist, move to Louisville, and launch his own bourbon brand. Heather told him he was taking the family down a rabbit hole from which they could never return, which inspired the brand's name, Rabbit Hole. Cave thought he could bring exciting innovation to the category and create a modern interpretation of bourbon. He founded the business and developed the recipes for the whiskeys in 2012, sourced contract whiskey based on those recipes in 2014, broke ground on the Rabbit Hole Distillery in 2016, and officially opened the distillery in 2018. Unlike most Kentucky commercial distilleries, Rabbit Hole is located in the heart of the city in Louisville's trendy New Lou or New Louisville neighborhood. The facility looks and feels more like an industrial chic art museum than a distillery. Designed by local architect Doug Pearson, with bourbon tourism in mind, the $15 million, 55,000 square foot distillery represents the brand's founding principles of modern and transparent innovation. The contemporary design gives visitors an immersive experience. Rabbit Hole is officially part of the Kentucky Bourbon Trail and offers a fantastic tour and tasting experience. Cave is very conscious of the environmental impact of making whiskey. The distillery was built using locally sourced metal and wood. The exterior uses a wooden wrap screen that reduces radiant heat. The heart of the building is a large open room that includes cookers, fermentation tanks, and stills. This room features a V-shape or inverted butterfly design ceiling that takes the hot air generated during production and recirculates it throughout the facility. This process acts like lungs and allows the main room to remain cool and comfortable even during peak production, but enables the facility to be as energy efficient as possible. The distillery operates 365 days a year and runs 24-7. All Rabbit Hole products except the Derringer and Bespoke Gin are distilled grain to glass at the distillery. When you tour the Rabbit Hole distillery, you'll notice how quiet it is. The reason for this is the facility uses cage mills instead of the industry standard hammer mill, which is very loud. The only mill what they need one batch at a time. The brand utilizes specialty grains such as honey malted barley, malted wheat, and malted rye. They source corn from Kentucky and Indiana, rye from Canada, and barley from Montana and Minnesota. The distillery has a much larger production capacity than one might think. When I toured the facility in 2021, there were nine open top fermentation tanks, and at the time there were plans to add three more. The brand uses the sour mash technique, which is the industry standard for Kentucky bourbon. But you might be wondering, what does sour mashing mean? Sour mashing, sometimes referred to as back set, takes some of the residue from the first distillation run and places it back in the fermenter for use in the next round of fermentation. The back set is very acidic and essential in fermentation because local water can have a high alkaline content which would otherwise interfere with the yeast. The sour mashing process assists in creating a consistent product from one batch to another. 
The starches from the grains are converted into fermentable sugars, which takes around 8 to 9 hours. The sugary mash ferments for 3 days, and the sugars are converted into alcohol. Cooling coils in the 8,000-gallon fermentation tanks keep the fermenting mash at 74 degrees Fahrenheit, or around 23 degrees Celsius, to prevent the yeast from dying off prematurely. After fermentation, the mash, referred to as distiller's beer, is around 6-8% to alcohol by volume, or ABV. Our tour guide joked, what do whiskey makers call brewers? They call them quitters. The distillery can empty three tanks a day, which can fill 60 to 75 barrels. The distillery has a continuous Vendome column still with a doubler that is 48 feet tall and 24 inches wide with 19 filtration plates. Rabbit Hole sources all their barrels exclusively from the family-owned Kelvin Cooperage in Louisville, Kentucky, which was established in 1963. It was essential for Cave to partner with a family-owned business. The new American oak barrels are toasted on a low heat for about 20 minutes, then charred with a wood-fired furnace to a level number 3. The barrel entry proof is 110 or 55% ABV. The batch size never exceeds 15 barrels, and the whiskey is always non-chill filtered to preserve the full flavor. All processes are done in-house, including filling barrels, dumping barrels, and bottling. The distillery is able to be located in the heart of Louisville because all maturation is done off-site. The aging warehouses, also known as rack houses, um, are about 30 minutes from the distillery in Henry County. Each building is 15,000 square feet, constructed entirely of steel, free of electricity, and contains no lights, plugs, heating, or air conditioning. The brand hopes to build a new warehouse yearly to keep up with growth. The Derringer is the only label that is aged in two different barrels. The first barrel, which is New American Oak, is toasted and charred with a number 4 level char, also known as an alligator char. The new make spirit enters the barrel at 115 proof or 57.5% ABV. Next, the whiskey is cast finished for 6-9 to nine months in ex Pedro Jimenez sherry cast sourced from the Casnolia Cooperage in Montilla, Spain, an hour south of Cordoba by car. These are a combination of first fill and second fill sherry casts. Before filling, the staves are continuously checked to ensure the cast will impart a significant amount of flavor. The Derringer whiskey is never artificially colored or flavored, so there may be slight differences from batch to batch. If you would like to support this channel, please consider gifting me a cocktail or a neat pour through my PayPal link in the description, or you can Venmo me at The Spirits Educator. Thank you so much for your support. The first product I'm going to talk about is the Rabbit Hole High Gold Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. First released in 2019, this expression is a high rye bourbon named for Christian High Gold, a German immigrant and stonemason who settled in Louisville in 1850. His work can still be seen on Main Street, but his most famous work was the ornate symbols he carved on the facade of his landmark home, which was saved from the city dump after a flood damaged the house, and it can still be seen today. This product is a tribute to all immigrants because Kave, the brand's founder, is an immigrant from Iran. High Gold has a mash bill of 70% corn, 25% malted rye, and 5% malted barley. It has a barrel entry proof of 110 or 55% ABV, is aged in a number 3 wood-fired, toasted and charred new American oak barrel for a minimum of 3 years. This product is non-chill filtered and bottled in extremely small batches that never exceed 15 barrels at 95 proof or 47.5% ABV. Next is the Rabbit Hole Cave Hill Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This label is a four grain bourbon that features a unique mash bill of malted grains. Cave Hill pays homage to the generations of proud Louisville distillers and builds on the legacy of those bourbon pioneers. The name comes from the historic Cave Hill Cemetery in Louisville, where many famous Kentuckians are buried, such as boxing legend Muhammad Ali and KFC's Colonel Harlan Sanders. Cave Hill is a mash bill of 70% corn, 10% malted wheat, 10% malted barley, and 10% honey malted barley. It has a lower barrel entry proof for more flavor of 110 or 55% ABV and is aged in a number 3 wood-fired toasted and charred new American oak barrel for a minimum of 3 years. This product is non-chill filtered and bottled in extremely small batches that never exceed 15 barrels at 95 proof or 47.5% ABV. Next is the Rabbit Hole Derringer, straight bourbon whiskey finished in PX Sherry Casks. 
This label is a weeded bourbon, cast finished in Pedro Jimenez Sherry Cass. Distilled in Indiana, Derringer is the only expression the distillery does not distill themselves. This product is inspired by Cave's wife, who not only converted him from his beloved single malt scotch whiskey, which is typically cast finished in sherry cast, to bourbon, but also dared him to follow through on his vision of starting his own bourbon brand. Derringer has a mash bill of 68% corn, 18% wheat, and 14% malted barley. It has a barrel entry proof of 115 or 57.5% ABV. Is aged in a number four wood fired, toasted, and charred new American oak barrel for a minimum of five years and cast finished for six to eight months in Pedro Jimenez sherry cast sourced from the Casnolia Cooperage in Montilla, Spain. This product is non chill filtered and bottled in extremely small batches that never exceed 15 barrels at 93 proof or 46.5% ABV. Next is the Rabbit Hole Boxer Grill Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. This expression is the brand's rye whiskey, which pays homage to the long and rich local boxing heritage in Louisville, including famous fighters such as Muhammad Ali and Greg Page. The Boxer Grail has a mash bill of 95% rye and 5% malted barley. It has a lower barrel entry proof for more flavor of 110 or 55% ABV. It is aged in a number three wood fire toasted and charred new American oak barrel and aged for a minimum of three years. This product is non-chill filtered and bottled in extremely small batches that never exceed 15 barrels at 95 proof or 47.5% ABV. Finally, we're going to talk about the only product that Rabbit Hole produces that is not either a bourbon or a rye. The bespoke gin is not distilled at Rabbit Hole, but instead sourced from G&J Distillers in London, the largest gin distiller in England. This product is a London dry style gin cast finished for six to eight months in Rabbit Hole Boxer Grill Kentucky Rye Barrels and bottled at 89 proof or 44.5% ABV. And in case you're wondering, there's honestly no significance behind the name. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to receive updates whenever I publish new content on my website or this YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to my newsletter. I'll include a link below in the description. If you would like to support this channel further, please consider becoming a Patreon member. I'll also include a link below in the description. And as always, please drink responsibly.